Although freezers vary from model to model, they operate on similar principles. In this video, we will identify the four main factors of freezer operation, as well as potential problems you may encounter. Freezers help preserve food by removing the heat from the inside of the appliance. To accomplish this, a freezer uses a sealed system that pumps refrigerant through a set of coils. The system includes a compressor, a pump which compresses the refrigerant in gas form into the condenser coils where the gas is condensed into a hot liquid. The condenser coils dissipate the heat as the liquid travels through them. Once the refrigerant has passed through the condenser coils and the capillary tube, it travels to the evaporator coil's cooling compartment. As the refrigerant liquid enters these coils, it expands into a gas, which makes the coils cold. The gas flows through the coils to a suction line attached to the compressor. The compressor converts the gas back into a liquid, and the cooling cycle continues. If the system is operating properly, there should be a consistent frost pattern on all of the evaporator coils. If only one or two rows contain frost, and the rest do not, it's likely that the sealed system has developed a restriction or a leak. Be aware that any repairs to the system must be performed by a licensed technician. The temperature in the freezer should be zero degrees Fahrenheit or lower. The temperature is regulated by the freezer control. Depending on the model, the control may be a thermostat switch and sensing bulb assembly, or an electronic control board that works with one or more sensors. To cool the freezer, the control allows voltage to travel to the start relay and compressor, as well as to the condenser fan motor and evaporator fan motor, if applicable. Once the proper temperature is reached, the control shuts off the voltage to the cooling system. Keep in mind that it's normal for the temperature to vary throughout this cycle. Airflow is vital for freezers to operate efficiently. To help the condenser coils to function properly, some models have a condenser fan to draw in air from the front or rear of the appliance, sending it through the condenser itself and then circulating the air back into the room. At the same time, the evaporator fan draws air through the evaporator coils, which remove the heat from the air. The air then recirculates back into the cooling compartment. If an upright freezer will not cool properly, the condenser coils may have collected too much dust, dirt, or hair and need to be cleaned. If the coils are free of debris or are inaccessible due to being contained within the walls of the appliance, the cooling problem could be caused by a failed evaporator or condenser fan motor. As we mentioned earlier, the evaporator coils collect frost as the air passes through them. Since frost buildup can cause airflow problems, most evaporator coils require periodic defrosting. Chest freezers need to be defrosted manually every 6 to 12 months, depending on the location. Many upright freezers will defrost automatically. The basic components in an automatic defrost system are the defrost heater, the defrost thermostat, and the defrost control. Depending on the model, the control may be part of the freezer control board, or it may be a defrost timer. The control turns the heater on periodically throughout the day. If the control, thermostat, or heater fail, the evaporator coils will likely frost over, causing poor cooling in the freezer. You can test both the thermostat and heater for continuity to determine if a continuous electrical path is present. If both the thermostat and heater test positive for continuity, it's likely that the control is defective and will need to be replaced. Repair Clinic has a solution for many of the problems you may be experiencing with your freezer. Enter the appliance's full model number in our website search engine for a complete list of compatible parts. Our site also has an extensive selection of instructional videos to assist you covering topics like part testing, disassembly, and part replacement. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy.